hope you're all doing well. Today's topic, I want to go over how to run a faster five mile time. And I know a lot of you may be in college or, you know, in college in the, here in the United States, we, we run eight kilometers. So it's just shy of five miles. It's actually 4.96 miles. But usually when you hear a five mile time, it's, you know, people think about the eight kilometer uh, event. The five mile distance definitely requires a lot of anaerobic training. You have to make sure that you're not running too much of your mileage too aerobically, especially if you're trying to run a specific time, which most of us as athletes, we're trying to go after specific race times. You know, maybe you're trying to break 40 minutes for five miles, or maybe you're trying to go under 30 minutes and hold under six minute mile pace uh, for five miles. And so in order to do that, you have to improve your body's lactate tolerance. A very short buildup of say like eight to 12 weeks is, is still, it's enough time to get in great shape but I always talk about doing a longer buildup, you know, talk, looking, focusing on more at 16 to 24 weeks in length. And, you know, in college, athletes are, are training different races throughout the year uh, for cross country. So they're training either with either the 5K, 10 kilometer event or the 8K uh, event. But a lot of athletes um, that aren't in college still want to go out and run a fast 8K race or maybe a five, a five mile race if the race is a little bit further. Um, you know, so in order to do that, you have to build your endurance first, focusing first on a longer buildup, you know, and I definitely advise focusing on at least four weeks of easy aerobic mileage first. You're laying that foundation of, um, you know, building your, your endurance, but also making sure that your, your muscles, tendons, and ligaments are strong and well prepared to start handling those faster anaerobic training workouts, you know, repeat miles, repeat thousands on the track. Um, doing longer tempo runs, you know, for an athlete that's training for the five mile distance, you know, I would work to a point where you can get that tempo run out to around uh, seven to nine miles in length. You know, again, you want to spend a longer period of time as you're training for your five mile event, running for a longer duration at your anaerobic threshold. You know, you're running 85 to 89% of your maximum heart rate when you're running at your anaerobic threshold. So you're running at a higher heart rate, you're running more anaerobic and and again the faster you run you know the more fast twitch muscle fibers you recruit you know whether that's and you do that through explosive type activities you know you're you know, whether doing strength training in the gym uh, box jumps doing um, uh, bench press any type of explosive you know muscular uh, activity is going to recruit more fast twitch muscle fibers so when you're running at faster paces you're running much more anaerobic that is going to prepare your body to be able to handle much higher levels of lactic acid buildup and more importantly your ability to clear that lactic acid faster than it's building up and that's not something that's easy it's not a something that happens overnight you know i always preach the the importance of delayed gratification when it comes to your your training you know it takes anywhere from three to four weeks for your body to adapt to any stressor you're placing on it so you have to allot sufficient time for your body to adapt to doing those you know say you're trying to break a 30 minute five mile time you know you have to hold under six minute mile pace so you know getting to a point where you can do repeat miles on the track at around 525 to 530 per mile per mile repetition that's going to take you about three to four weeks of continual effort you're not you, you don't want to start off running it that that intense you know maybe if you're in a buildup you want to start off first running around six six ten per mile for those repetitions and then work your way down to 550 and then down to 545 and then down to 535 around that range you know a gradual uh, decrease in intensity with also lessening uh, periods of rest in between each one of your hard anaerobic workouts you know it's very hard early on when you're not as anaerobically fit to, to, to handle doing tempo runs longer tempo runs so you know as I mentioned earlier uh, working to a point where you can do your tempo runs out to around between seven and eight miles, you want to first be able to adapt to doing a two to three mile tempo run, preparing for your five mile race. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, preferably a 16 week buildup is best, uh, but I would definitely advise doing a 20 to 24 week buildup. You know, if anywhere from four to six months is plenty of time to prepare properly for a five mile race. Um, obviously, you, you do want to sprinkle in some, some races as well leading into your main five-mile race. You know, do some 5Ks, do some 10Ks, 
um, even try a, a 10 mile or somewhere around there you know doubling the distance even if it's a 10 mile tempo run doubling the distance of the distance that you're aiming to race at which in this case is to race a, a faster five mile time that's going to help you psychologically as well because you're, you can say to yourself you know I've already done a, temp, a 10 mile tempo run you know think of how much stronger you're going to be racing all out for a five miler if you've you've lengthened out that tempo run at least done one tempo run 10 miles in length now again be patient with yourself it's going to be hard to do a two to three mile tempo run early on when you're not very fit so don't get bent out of shape i've been there too i understand 100 percent when you're you're you want to be in great racing shape you want to hit the splits that you're going for but you just can't get your legs to turn over and you can't clear that lactic acid as effect, as effectively as you will be able to down the road in you know several weeks down down the line when you when you again you've you've built up a strong foundation of aerobic mileage but that you've also uh, set up your training adequately where you've focused on first on aerobic build, base building mileage and then you've started working on your your race specific training you're training at or close to your five mile goal race pace then you've moved into your speed development phase where you're really working on running closer down toward your mile to 3k race pace doing that and then obviously going into your taper phase and and allowing your body time to recover from the hard training you're doing you know i think the taper phase is really the most difficult part of training for a um, uh, to how, on how to run a faster five mile time it's because you're so used to doing that that training doing the the speed workouts the tempo runs hill repetitions um, long runs that you're doing on a consistent basis every single week uh, it's that point where you start dropping your intensity and volume 10 days out from your main race that uh, for a lot of times at least for me personally is extremely difficult because you think that because you're not running as much mileage you're getting out of shape and really it's it's you're you're in superior shape it's just allowing your, yourself time to back off the mileage back off the intensity especially 10 days out from the race don't start dropping volume and intensity until you get 10 days out from your main five mile race in my opinion you'll go into that race feeling much more fresh much more energized much more motivated than if you do uh, say a three to four week taper where you start dropping volume and, and you start allowing your, yourself time to, to rest and relax three to four weeks out from a big race okay if you're doing a, a, a long run I would I would your longest long run I would focus on doing that longest long run between two to three weeks out from your main five mile race okay also I would do a, um, a five or a three mile or a five kilometer run at goal five mile race pace four days out from that race okay so it's just something else to keep in keep in mind now I have training plans I have running courses on rundreamachieve.com so definitely check those out obviously I do coach athletes month to month as well if that's something that you're interested in um, but the way I set up my training plans and running courses I do emphasize that 10 day taper I focus on aerobic base first race specific training second then we move into speed development training where you're really running much much faster than you're planning on racing the, at your five five mile event again we want to improve the body's lactate tolerance so that you can sustain that goal five mile race pace longer and to be able to react to the surges in the race that your competition is throwing at you that is absolutely key and we also focus on recovery the real benefits of your hard training is going to come from within the rest period so make sure that you're jogging on easy days. Don't get so caught up with what pace you're running per mile or per kilometer on those easy days. What counts the most is those hard anaerobic workouts, the tempo runs, the speed training workouts you're doing, uh, one VO2 max workout per week, one tempo run per week, one long run per week. Okay, it, It's very important that you focus on ensuring that you're not running so fast on your easy days that you're not adapting to those types of hard workouts. Again training smarter rather than harder is the end goal so I hope this video makes sense for you uh, if you're training for the five mile distance feel free to leave me a comment below this video or any of my uh, videos that I make uh, I will definitely reach back out to you and definitely check out the resources below all of my videos uh, I think there's some a lot of information there uh, that can really help you uh, take your racing and, and training to the next level so I wish you all the best and I'll talk to you all in the next video